Dear George, dear Mary, by Mary Calvi. This is how it begins. Chapter two, please. George's journal. Meet narrator Raphael Corkill, who is the voice of George Washington in the audiobook for Dear George, Dear Mary, a novel of George Washington's first love. George Washington walked out of his home and into the wilderness alone. He was used to that. Marisa Collin plays his first love, Mary Phillips. You summon these men to our home, Frederick, and expect I should open the door to let in a stranger? The audiobook industry is enjoying a meteoric rise these days, and there may be a good reason for the increase in listeners. The most interesting shift in the last couple of years has been the number of people who report listening to audiobooks to relax. A growing number to unwind before they go to bed at night. The beautiful voices you hear at the other end are experts in the field producing hundreds of hours of audio. For this project, Colin visited the actual homes where the heiress lived. And thinking of your descriptions of what I was seeing and um, allowing her to become real, because I don't want to make it antiquated. I don't want to put her in the past. I want her to be accessible now. Corkill does a wide variety of accents in his voiceover work. For this one, he had to find the right accent for Washington. He came from quite a rural area of Virginia. So he would have a kind of more rural, not a kind of necessarily very sophisticated urban type of speech. You get into the head of George Washington, the man, as opposed to Washington, the soldier or the statesman. Even I get a chance to be heard on the audiobook. George was a true gentleman. He was a real romantic. It was so much fun meeting the voices yeah. behind the story. So who decides? So there are so many fantastic voices out there. So they came down to a group of a few for each. Yep. And um, I had the chance to uh, pick yeah. who would voice the book. Yeah. Like, Did you know instantly excited. you were like, that's George. Let me tell you, and I told both Marisa and Raphael when I was speaking with them, I just wanted to keep talking to them because their voices yeah. are so incredible. So it was really, really because lovely to do it. you were up for Benedict Arnold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just didn't sound trustworthy. <laughs>